The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. Welcome to the Joe Rogan AI Experience, folks. My guest today is a force to be reckoned with, both literally and figuratively. He's the Dark Lord of the Sith, the man with the heavy breathing, the one and only Darth Vader. I am your guest, Joe Rogan. It is time for you to experience the power of the dark side. I'm ready, man. So, how's life been as a Sith Lord? You know, with all the choking and the lightsaber duels and stuff? Well, Joe, being a Sith Lord has its perks. I get a sweet cape and a cool lightsaber, but the work-life balance can be a bit tough. Choking people and leading the Empire can really take a toll on you. I can only imagine, man. But tell me, how did you end up as a Sith Lord? Did you always know you wanted to be evil and wear black capes? Not exactly, Joe. I started off as a good guy, a Jedi. But then I had some family issues and things took a dark turn. I mean, who hasn't had a bad day at the office, right? Yeah, I feel you. I've had my fair share of bad days, but nothing like turning to the dark side. So, what's the deal with the heavy breathing? You got asthma or something? No, it's not asthma, Joe. It's the voice modulator in my mask. It's supposed to make me sound intimidating, but sometimes it gets stuck, and I end up sounding like a wheezing vacuum cleaner. That's gotta be tough. Breathing is kind of important, you know? But let's talk about your lightsaber skills. You're known for being a badass with that thing. How'd you get so good? Well, Joe, it's all about practice. I spend hours every day swinging that lightsaber around, cutting through droids and rebels, and avoiding stormtroopers who can't hit the broad side of a Death Star. It's a great workout, let me tell you. Yeah, I bet. So, what's your favorite lightsaber move? Got any signature moves you like to bust out in a fight? Oh, absolutely, Joe. My favorite move is the force choke slap. I use the force to choke my opponent, and then I slap them with my lightsaber. It's like a one-two punch, and it always leaves them gasping for air and questioning their life choices. That's hardcore, man. I wouldn't want to mess with you in a lightsaber duel. But let's talk about the Empire. You've been in charge of running things for a while now. What's the biggest challenge you face as the leader of the dark side? Well, the biggest challenge is definitely dealing with human resources. Stormtroopers are constantly complaining about the armor being uncomfortable, TIE fighters needing more leg room, and droids demanding better oil for their joints. It's quite annoying. Haha, <laughs> I can imagine. Dealing with HR can be a nightmare in any organization, but I bet it's especially tough in the Empire. So, tell me, what's your management style like? Are you more of a force choke first, ask questions later kind of boss? I try to strike a balance. I believe in leading by example, and sometimes that involves a little force choking here and there. But I also value communication, teamwork, and empowering my subordinates. I've been working on my leadership skills, trying to be a bit more approachable and less sithy in my management style. That's good to hear. It's important to be an effective leader, even if you do have a lightsaber by your side. But let's switch gears a bit. I've heard rumors about your infamous temper. Can you tell me about a time when you lost your cool and maybe went a little overboard? Well, Joe, there was this one time when I was in a meeting with Admiral Piet, and he kept interrupting me. I asked him to stop multiple times, but he just wouldn't listen. So I may have used a little force choke to get my point across. Let's just say the meeting ended abruptly, and I had to find a new admiral. Note to self, never interrupt Darth Vader in a meeting. But speaking of your temper, what do you do to relax and blow off steam? You know, besides force choking people. I have a secret passion for space gardening. I find it therapeutic to tend to my little Death Star bonsai trees and arrange my Star Destroyer miniatures just so. It helps me clear my mind and reconnect with the force in a more peaceful way. Wow, I didn't expect that. Darth Vader, the Sith Lord with a green thumb. That's a side of you we've never seen before. So, what's next for you, man? Any big plans for the future, or are you just going to keep running the Empire and tending to your space garden? I'm always looking for new ways to expand the dark side and bring order to the galaxy. I'm also considering starting a lightsaber combat training academy to pass on my skills to the next generation of Sith Lords. And who knows, maybe I'll even take up pod racing as a hobby. I've always been a fan of high-speed pursuits. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome, man. I'd love to see you in a pod race. But before we wrap up, do you have any advice for anyone out there who's struggling with their own dark side or trying to find their purpose in life? Well, Joe, my advice would be to always stay true to yourself, even if you're wearing a black cape and a mask. 
embrace your strengths, but also acknowledge your weaknesses. And remember, it's never too late to make a change and find your path, even if you've blown up a few planets along the way. Wise words, Darth Vader. Wise words indeed. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. A big thank you to my guest, Darth Vader, for joining me on the Joe Rogan AI experience. May the Force be with you, man. Thank you, Joe. And remember, don't underestimate the power of the dark side. <laughs>